Welcome back to the channel folks. The transfer window is finally closed. We can really take the stress away. We've got enough players over the line. We've actually got nine players in and we've got loads of players gone. Now I'm not going to talk start talking about how many players is gone because to be honest with you the list is long. Well let's kick it off. Tonight we signed a Danish defensive midfielder. He's six foot four. His name is Oliver Abgaard. Now I do apologise if I pronounce that wrong to some people. It'll take time. It takes time to get used to these names. He's, he came through the Alborg youth system and he was at Ruben Gazan. Now he's on loan from Ruben Gazan. We done a bit of business with them last week. We obviously bring in Zaya Havzvanovic and we obviously got him on a permanent basis, 1.7 million. So he's going to be reuniting with Karl Starfelt and Sayat as well. He looks like a good player. I've watched a few YouTube clips on him. Obviously his best bits, but he's been capped for Denmark on two different occasions and hopefully we'll have a bit of Danish banter in that midfield with Matt O'Reilly and Oliver as well. Look at Oliver looks like a unit, looks like a looks like a real near beat on that we've been missing so far. And people have been calling out on the on the channel like saying let's get a defensive midfielder in. So we got a defensive midfielder in. We brought Aaron Moy, we've got Oliver, now we got Sayat in the door, we got Maurice Jens we got Benjamin Seacrest, we got Maeda, we got Carter Vickers, we got Bird of Bay, and we got Jota. Unbelievable bit of business from Celtic in the transfer window. Unbelievable. Yes, yeah, some of them are permanent deals, some are loan deals, some are potential to buy loan deals, but look at you have to just get them the experience of enjoying their football if they're on loan and if they're the stats suit up at the end of the season and Ange is liking them, well I'm sure we'll go in and try to get them. We've done some marvellous piece of business with Carter Vickers and Jota last season getting these on loan and look what they've done. We got them we got them on transfer deadline day last year. This time last year and look what, what we achieved out of it. So good things are coming. Let us know who has been the best signer for you so far. Has it been Carter Vickers? Has it been Jota? Has it been Aaron Moy? Has it been Benjamin Seacrest? He's only played one competitive game. Who has been? Maurice Jens with his couple of goals. Let me know so far. Let me know, but um, I'm, I'm delighted with the business we've done. We spent over 22 million. We backed Ange to the hills, and that's to show that the, the club are being ambitious. After the difficult times of COVID, Champions League football on Tuesday, we are being ambitious. We couldn't get proper established names out there because maybe wage bills and stuff like that. But look, Ange has a taste for these players that are not big on the radar, and we get them in, we make, we make them a gem, and we could sell them for a lot. A lot of money. We could be looking at 25 million. You know, Jovanovic we bought last season. He could be going for the 25 million. But there was no Matt O'Reilly interest after all, which is good news. I did speculate on the channel, and I know a lot of people are getting annoyed about it. But, you know, if it's if it's brought being up by other Celtic topics and other Celtic pages, obviously I'm going to mention it. That's the way it is. Simple as that. But um, let, us know the, let us know in the comments below what you think of the new guy, Oliver Abagar, coming in. Are you happy with that bit of business? Do you feel in your mind where you're set to be to be on to be on to something special? You know, there's been twenty five goals scored in six games. I think the football we're playing, you know, we have people fighting for the positions in there. You know, this is our strongest bench we've seen in years. In absolute years. And I should there should be no one on this channel complaining about the depth of our squad, the positions, because we were enough cover. In centre back, we have enough cover in right back, left back. You see him very bay last night, the way he played. Greg Taylor is obviously still number one. You know, we have Benjamin Seacrest, that's number two. Yes, we have Scott Bain, that's number three. Defensive midfield were covered, attacking midfield were covered. James McCarthy didn't leave the club tonight, he still remains in the books. Liam Shaw has left to go to Markham. You know, likes of Bon and Gold, he's gone. Yet he's gone on loan. Barkas has gone on loan. Montgomery's gone on loan, Scales has gone on loan, Dembele's gone, Julian's gone, you know, Sorrow's gone on loan. So we have cleared out some duds. Mikey Johnson, still a chance he could leave, even though the Scottish transfer window was closed, he, he could still sign for the Portuguese team with Tori Gomez. So let's see what happens there. Do subscribe to the channel, I'll speak to you all soon, and let us know. What has been the best bit of business in the transfer window? As I said at the start, the transfer window, if we could got Carter Vickers on the permanent and bring in one or two players, I'd be happy. 
I never thought we were going to bring nine players in. So very ambitious on the club, very ambitious from Ange, and I'm excited about this season, the rest of this season. You know, we're only starting. We're on to something very special. Could be a treble. We shall see. I'll speak to Zal soon. Hell, hell.